whole sprinter day. It can't make its mind up if it's spring or winter, but we really feel that um, Groundhog is leading us in the right direction. I think we're gonna have an early spring this year, and anything else about weather? No, it's lovely. I think we're supposed to get smacked a little bit in the middle of the week, but pop right back up again, so yay! Um, it's been about three months since we've had one of these videos where we're catching up on what we've been knitting and what we're wanting to knit. I hope you all caught the video from a few weeks ago or a few, yeah, 10 days ago. 10 days ago um, when we were at Wild and Wooly, um, a fun, fun event. And um, we just thought today we'd get together and share a little bit of what we've been up to. So, um, oh, and somebody's birthday was celebrated Yay! today. So our lovely Crystal celebrated a birthday and we're really excited about that. Um, and just in case we are- I don't know how excited I am other than it's the, <laughs> it, it beats the alternative. Absolutely. Right. Yes. She celebrated it in a fun way. I did, I did. My family um, and I went down to the Bolivar Peninsula of Texas close to Crystal Beach Hence and Galveston. the beautiful sun glow to her face compared to the pasty white here. <laughs> <laughs> no, we um, rented a beach house and we were like, we could see the beach, it's like right there. And that's, I love that. Uh, listening to the ocean and watching the waves is that little slice of heaven to me, so. And I got to wear shorts and a t-shirt on my birthday. I don't <laughs> often get to do that. No. Yeah. So it was good. It was really nice. good. So happy birthday. Thank you. Yay. Um, and if you haven't figured out, we are a knitting podcast. Um, thanks for all of you who keep chiming in and watching us. We appreciate it. And um, if this is your first time in, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. And um, we'll get right Also, we have a Facebook page too. So yeah. And an Instagram share page. Your, your yeah projects there as well. Absolutely. We love seeing what everybody's up to. So um, we'll get right into it. Um, what are you wearing, Darcy? I finally finished, well, it's been finished, uh, the double date sweater. Yay! Yay! It is so cute. Kind of a generous sleeve, but... Love that generous. All the colors are the mini skeins from... McMullen Fibers yeah. last advent. Uh, not this last Christmas, but the Christmas before. So yeah, I think if I make it again, I won't use a bunch of different minis. I'll use like a spin cycle or something like that, but it's very sweatshirty and comfy cozy with sweatpants hanging around the house. Yep. And the reason you won't use a bunch of minis? Oh, the ends, the ends were hell. <laughs> <laughs> Are we allowed to say that? The ends were beep. H E double hockey sticks if you're in grade school. It was office. They were hell. <laughs> but that's what I'm wearing. Very nice. Right. Do you have other finished objects you want to show? Well, let's go through with what we're wearing and then we'll go back to finish. Okay. Right. What are you wearing? I am wearing a sampler poncho that uh, was written by uh, Beth Lucci of Around the Table. And this was what they were doing for the, the last yarn tour and it's basically just some different sampler stitches so it comes out really well. I didn't mm. choose to put the buttons on it because I like just kind of throwing it here and there and I had thought about making a second one so I could do it like you know one on each side make it like arena but these rows take forever. <laughs> so that, that made them right out. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> you're doing it lengthwise not yeah. widthwise. Right. And you had you were wearing this at Wild and Wooly, right? Right. It's like experimenting on because she would have it on one way, and then like I'd turn and come back, and she'd have it on a completely different way. So it's very yes. versatile. And it's made out of like a cotton. It's cotton. All yeah. cotton or a blend? No, it was all cotton. Um, but it does add that little extra layer, so I got warm at Wild and Wooly. And yeah. wasn't it um, one of those whirl? Yes. Something like that where the, it does the color change on it um, on its the own. The whirlies. Um, I can't remember the, the oh, name of the sheep cheese or something oh, yeah, like that. Oh, that's it. The sheep cheese. Whirly. I'm not sure yeah. exactly what Big the variegated cake, but I, I did cut sections out because there was just too much fabric, too much yarn there for to get meat. enough or to get enough of a color change. Yeah. Did you change like your colors according to um, a change in pattern style like no okay no it did end up that way a little bit okay but no i actually tried not to do that yeah 
because it just does different. it on its own. Right. So. But like cutting out certain sections because oh, it would have yeah. just been too wide of a swath. Okay. Right. I did that with the Noro ball of yarn where okay. I was using two strands and then all of a sudden the same color would come together and it would just be a block of color versus the intertwine intertwangled. That's a new word I've come up with when we do laundry and things stick together, they get intertwangled. Okay. And I don't think that's a real word, but if it is in the dictionary, it should have my name underneath it. Okay. Yeah. okay. Anyway, and I'm wearing a Galveston um, sweatshirt <laughs> that I picked up on my trip. Uh, very nice. And I'm wearing Dave's sweater. I made um, this for him. I call it the 10-4 good buddy because it's 10 of color, four of the white. 10 of color for the white, but it is a free pattern from Espostico and it is the warm-up sweater. Um, super easy pattern and then I used um, a bunch of Let Lopi that I had left over from two previous sweaters. Um, he gets really jealous when I wear my Let Lopi. What, did I have my? No. 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 <laughs> Had a big old wedgie or something. No. Um, so um, he always gets jealous when it's super cold and I throw on my weatherman let Lopi sweater and so I made him one and he loves it and he wears it all the time but except for today. Told him he couldn't have it but he didn't need it today so I wore it. Um, but yeah. And what was the something, there was something about the yellow. Oh, because the yellow band looks wider it than does. the other ones. Even were, though it's not. It's and is not. that just because it's meshed between two whites? It could be the color and it could be like its location, but ready? Get the violins out, ladies. Okay, so I'm having this thing about knitting that I had to change from um, continental to throwing oh, right. because of arthritis. And I changed from th uh, continental at this point to throwing at this point. So, I so think tension my different. tension changed. Yeah, but uh, that's not even, I mean, sure. But I think because count. that yellow is married between oh, two white, it makes it feel like or seem that yeah. it's bigger. Mm -hmm. Because even the brown seems bigger than the blue. Yeah. So I think it's just... Because I kept asking Dave about it. He's like, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Because to me, my eyes go straight to the, the blue or the yellow. And then a part of it, it reminded me of those old trading blankets with the yes. stripes. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. um, I like it. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. So, and then Good color. it all worked out. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have like, I didn't know if I had enough yardage. I did have to go to Harp Synth. Well, I had her mail it to me. I needed one more ball of white to finish it up. And then um, I wanted an orange. And what is that yarn again? Let Lopi? Let Lopi, um, yes, okay. Yeah, I do have a ball of it. It's super itchy and crazy, so if you're sensitive, this is not a skin on skin sweater. Um, but I did on my other one, when I washed it, I um, used hair conditioner, somebody had advised, and soaked it in that after I washed it. And um, then it completely dried, and somebody said to put it in an airtight bag in the freezer, freezer yeah. with your left foot up, and if, if Mars was in line with Jupiter, it just seemed like, yeah, right. But it's not so bad. Um, but one thing I do like about this is I was afraid about the red and the white. When I washed it, nothing bled. Like, oh, nice. so many times colors bleed. Yeah. This did not bleed. Um, and I think what Lopi's a decent price point. I mean, it's $6.40 for a 50-gram ball. And, um, yeah. So that's what I'm wearing. 10 4, good buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any other finished? Um, well, we'll start back down finished. with our Are we doing finished? our New Year's Eve? We can. Or are we, we going to wait? You can. We can start with that and okay. then pull yours up because. So our New Year's Eve cast on was the Stratified by Tiff Nealon. Uh, Three of us all went with the same yarn palette, or two of us did, Jen and I did, uh, exact to the pattern. Crystal changed hers up a bit, and Allison, you changed yours up a bit as far as fiber goes. And I'm the only one that did the cropped version. Mm -hmm. And I used DK. Totally which, different. Interestingly, is much softer than the worsted in yeah. the same brand, in the La Bien. La Bien. La Bien. La Bien. I mean. And mine is so super cropped that like, um. Mine's more cropped. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're saying that she went to the five minute oil change place. <laughs> <laughs> but I really like this variation. So this I like, did the yellow instead of the rust. Yeah, so it's like a grassy green yellow. 
uh -huh. instead of this orangey. Mm -hmm. And wow, I really like that. It definitely makes it more of a cool toned sweater than having the orange. And I do love and this speckle. The, I love yeah, the these speckle. two speckles. Wow. It was that, fun that to knit because warm. warm. You're right. That's a very warm. Yes. That rust makes it very yeah. warm. And the, the next cool stripe made it a really fast knit because you wanted to get on to the next. Yeah, stripe. I was. Next texture. There's Even different textures. Sleeve Island didn't feel like Sleeve Island no. because you're like, oh, I could just switch a color right away because yeah. they're mm -hmm. yeah. And you did the decrease on the sleeves. I did a balloon sleeve. I yeah, just kept I, I the do the same size and then just did the cuff. I did a rapid decrease. And I did my there. usual keeping the same size from the sleeve to here, and then I start my decreases. Oh, and I did okay. decreases whenever the pattern told me to. And then, okay, girl. then I had to remember for like length, right? Because I overestimate and make everything way too long. So this time I got to the point where it was like just shy of perfect. And then when I washed and blocked it, it became a lot longer than I expected. It's doable, right? It's almost like bracelet length. Mm -hmm. But okay. I'm like, wait, they fit perfectly. And now they seem actually shorter after I washed and blocked it because oh. I was very hesitant about pulling on them. Yeah. Because I didn't want to make the sleeves longer than they should be, but they, they ended up being shorter than I wanted them. I with me with my monkey arms, Lots I had challenges. to add like a whole new four pattern repeat in order to get the length on my sleeves to be at the right spot. Because I was going back and forth of whether I want the bracelet length or a regular length. And if I would have stopped at their normal long sleeve length, it would have been bracelet length, which mm -hmm. is crazy. So bracelet length is what I think yeah. it was. Right above the yeah. watch. Just, okay. Yeah, a little, little lower than, yeah. Okay. So, so I, I made mine longer than it called for. With a slit Which is what I'm trying to do. Yeah, she added a slit to hers. And I had matched the colors and the texture and the, the, the width of the stripes on my arm, but then my arm was too long. Ah. Okay. Plus, this little extra stitch I added in here kind of bumfled up. So I just took it out. I just cut it out. And I noticed you did the texture on the sleeve. I, I just did straight yeah. stocking it down the sleeve. Yeah. Because that's what the pattern is. Correct. Is yeah. Like yeah. Sock in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will say I really enjoyed the pattern. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's very well written, easy to understand. Absolutely. I didn't have any like thousand texts to them. Like, what what do I do in page whatever? Yeah, I didn't have that. So I think I will actually make this again. Obviously longer to go over everything, um, and probably uh, try a different yarn. Maybe no stripes. Just the texture. Just the texture. Oh, that would be, oh, that texture. Would be, cool. oh, that would be like nice. a Guernsey almost with just uh -huh. the texture. Yeah, because I was thinking I really like everything about it, but but isn't the stripe stripes. what made it? The stripes are what drew me to it. However, um, Maybe it's the stripes and the colors, those yes. specific colors. Yeah, uh -huh. but I think I want like a solid. Okay, you've done sweater. a couple of stripe things. I've recently. done yeah. yeah. No, stripes seem to be like name of the game lately. Yeah. So. Um, kind of leaning more towards pick a solid and just knit the whole thing in a solid, maybe with the texture. Yeah. Wouldn't have as many ends to tie in, especially if you spit Oh my gosh, I can't wait for no ends. All right. So I have that. What else do you have? I have, I knit another, um, using stash. Uh-huh. I knit another. It's my pattern, and I can't remember the name of it. The Lucky, Lucky Derby Lucky. Bandana Cowl, something to that effect. So yeah, I made another one nice. using stash. And then I also have, which I don't ever think I showed you, my Sophie scarf oh, okay. that I finished. Are you supposed to block it and stretch it? You can. I know with me, just wearing it kind of. Because I'm like, I feel like thing. I probably should stretch it. With your cute hair now, that'll look cute even tighter. Well, and then I thought I wanted to do that, right? Like to be able to do yeah. something, but it's a bit too wide for that, I think. Ah, love that. Now, yeah. did you do the large one or the small one? The small mm -hmm. one. Small one. Okay. Yeah. And I made a hat. I made this while driving to Michigan. I wasn't driving and knitting, <laughs> <laughs> so we're clear. <laughs> um, but it, I started it on the way there and had it done by the time we arrived at camp. So this was my camp hat. 
And I will say, wearing it in, when did we go? September at camp in the UP was perfect. Oh, nice. oh good. It was warm enough to keep the cold breeze from in between all the trees at camp, keep my head warm, wear it at night, wear it hiking. It was perfect. So I'll probably make a thousand of those and put them in the shop. Very nice. But that's it. That's and all those I got. Those are not drop shipped. Those are handmade. <laughs> oh my gosh, I okay. watched a thing this morning on drop shipping and it just like was eye opener and it ticked me off. So yeah, we'll just leave it at These are handmade. <laughs> Handmade from Ohio. <laughs> from Ohio. Inventory is held at my home. Yeah. So I made hats too because I was traveling recently as well. Um, this one is the Mavi hat. Uh, it's done with Barocco's uh, fine wool, I think it is. And then, then one of the um, minis that we got uh, free at the Pittsburgh. Oh, at right. Pittsburgh Fiber Festival. Right. And it's the Mavi Hat by Ingeborg Hauwikorst. And this is also it, but I just made a little bit of a difference in, obviously, um, colors. And, and I don't think there's anything there, but there's the spelling. Very nice. And did you stick straight to pattern, or did you change anything? I just straight to the pattern. You heard it here, folks. She stuck to pattern. <laughs> um, this last one is called oh, the Artifact Hat. Ooh. And this was also the Barocco Fine Wool, but with um, a fingering Peyton's Croy socks from Hobby Lobby. Uh -huh. and I thought it kind of looked like, I don't know. Patents? Patents. Um, I thought the design kind of made it look like uh, what do I say? Circuit diagram. So. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So I thought, and then also it was easy to expand the pattern by an extra 14 stitches for the repeat. Wow. So it'll fit bigger nice heads. Nice loose pattern. Okay. So. Wow, well, I thought I had a lot of FOs, which was shocking for me. Is this the cover? This is the cover. <clears throat> oh, wow. I okay. made this thing because oh, I, remember this. Okay. I was actually inspired by <coughs> excuse me, um, <coughs> Tina's sweater that she did, that yeah. she crocheted. Let's help you get dressed. <laughs> How many knitters does it take? <laughs> <coughs> really pretty. Um, but it was crocheted. I don't crochet. So I saw this on the front of a magazine. I thought, oh, I'll do that. But I'll put slits up the side and up the front. And this was just a summer 2023 maybe or yes. was this an older magazine no it's a new one new magazine okay but <coughs> so if you need in retrospect I'm, I'm not sure I like it because it, it's got a lot of drape it's bamboo so it's hanging a lot but maybe in the summer I'll see what it looks like with it's adorable something though. under yeah. it I like the little button detail on the side uh -huh. and the little split and if you had a tank top on it, and I like that with some right. shorts. I so. like that it's it only buttons to here. You know yes. what I mean? Uh -huh. That's oh, cute. So That's nice. Those are ideas too. courtesy uh -huh. of Tina. So, <laughs> designing woman. Tina, okay. Designing woman. Okay. <coughs> so, okay. And, mm -hmm. but wait, there's this is the Car Beth oh my God. by oh. Kate Davies, where she has several versions of this a cardigan, one without pattern, one with pattern. So, this is Car Beth. Kate. By Kate Davies. Right. Okay. And altered by Allison. Yeah. AKA uh, Allison. I, I only minimally altered. Okay. I did add a mohair to the pattern part and then didn't like it, so I used my sweater shaver and shaved most of it off. <laughs> so I like it better now. And I, I like the kind of cutout here that the cardigan version had rather than being solid across mm -hmm. the neck. So I just okay. made a little divot here. So those are the only, only changes. And this is a heavy sweater. It yeah. is very heavy. It looks heavy. So this would be like when it's really cold outside. And Boy, the way that the light color, is hitting this. The color is wow. making it seem more hot pinkish, but it's very more purple. Yeah. Wow. Violet. The head is like a weighted blanket sweater. It is. That's yeah. like let low be weather. It yeah. is. Oh yeah, so, that one. I think I showed that last time. The yes, picture. so you saw this as a work in progress. 
my gosh. Wow. Wow. It is. Oh my gosh, it's so thick. Tail she the buttons on the other side. So this is so thick and This is yummy. something I meant to do something on a tips thing, but I always, especially for heavy things, put a, a stabilizing button on the opposite side so it won't pull Which I through. just learned about at Wild and Wooly. Thanks, so, AKA Allison. Absolutely gorgeous. It came wow. out really nicely, <clears throat> except I think it shows my butt too much. I think it was meant for somebody a little skinnier than me. So I'll oh, probably agree. donate like, it somewhere. If anybody was skinnier than her, she'd be 11. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Not yet puberty. <laughs> okay, last thing. This is the one I can't wait to see. Um, oh I, my well, gosh! Did you, did you gosh. sneak it? No. No. I okay. adapted a pattern from called Fossil Frenzy Soft. to make uh, a scarf for um, an option item down. for my there husband's now. fossil club. Is it? Here, switch it. So, so there's a variety of dinosaur type and fossil type things on it. Look at um, that head. Oh. <gasps> Here comes the Stegosaurus. Cool. I did it in NDK, so it came out huge compared to the fingering pattern. Okay, and then there's another, okay. what's on the back? Did we just flip it? Yeah. Rewind. Oh my goodness. Look at them. Look at that face down here. So that's I cannot wait to hear how this goes over at the, it's at, an auction. Look at him and it's yes. fine. Wow. So again, the pattern's Fossil Frenzy and there's cowl and there's also a sweat. And it was knit. As you a knit tube. it flat, right? No. Did, no, you knitted in the round. I did knit it in the round. This is a tube. And then I was too impatient on doing the steak and it fell apart when I cut it. <gasps> oh no. no. So, so very, this is where you started to steak? Is, well, oh, with this. the whole length. Okay, right. okay. Um, I see what you're saying. And I, I mean, I was silly because I was too impatient oh. about sewing it. And then it was, it's superwash wool, which is not you the can't. best for steep. No. But I, I rescued it with some fray check and just stitching the two sides together. How far did you oh get on the steaking? All you the way. Oh. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> so, oh. Did you? It worked out. Oh it worked out. Oh. Okay, I'm done. There we go. <laughs> wow. Okay, I don't have any finished shop Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, so, so we need to get our coffee. No, absolutely not. Okay. No, no, no. So between the stratified, this, my other finished object is a vest. And it is called the Lola Hooded Vest. I love so it. there it is, so it is the pattern. So you. It's so me. What about it screams you? <laughs> It's the a, best. It's, it's, so, a hoodie. it's a hoodie. It's a hoodie. It has a hood. Big old hood. And I even decreased With the, the hood. Yep. With Big the pockets. pockets on the front. Yeah, and I like your toggle buttons. So, yeah. yeah. This yarn we purchased in Lexington at the Fiber Festival down there. And you said it was alpaca? It's all alpaca. I couldn't from figure out the, what it was. The Gyrus family farm down there. Okay. And then hood <laughs> and pockets, except. I didn't, I got, I got a little too big on my stitches. Oh, oh you have a hole. Oh. So it's, it's That's just. That's for your texting finger to come yeah, out. Yeah, so I can text. Yeah. <laughs> so that was <coughs> my other finished object that I worked on simultaneously with the Stratify. Cause I actually finished them a, like that same day. I like finished the one and finished the other. I kept taking turns. And it was after that, that she then went, I can't move my hand yes. at all. At all. So I finished that, I think on January like 19th or something, those two. And we ca I casted them both on, on New Year's Eve. And so I decided to slow and down now you know and why I knit. She couldn't move yes. her hand at all. So I said, I'm gonna slow down and just knit this one, which was then done by February 16th, 12th, something like that. I and feel like I, I might be able to catch up now. And so now I am not knitting until March 1st. So I haven't knit. Oh, okay. <laughs> you do realize that's only like two weeks. Right? I know. I know. But, <laughs> but what does it, it say? A habit? Two weeks. Yes. It takes 21 days to break. And it's been painful. Last night I was watching TV and I looked at my husband. I'm like, do people just sit and watch TV? And it's like do a Seinfeld nothing? episode of Putty just staring at the back of the seat. Yeah. <laughs> so that was really hard. Um, you know what? My husband is the ultimate multitasker when it comes to watching TV. Yeah. He's watching TV, it's he's horrible. reading a book on his laptop, mm -hmm. and he's playing a game on his phone. Okay. 
Wow. So I've, been, I've become better at Sudoku. Okay. So I did get a Sudoku book. And I did pick up, which I'll talk in acquisitions, but I've been trying to spin. So, but it's kind of that same pinchy, pinchy thing. Mm -hmm. So enough of that. Yeah. We'll but see that's what happens. It. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So whip wise, what do you have? Zero. Okay. That's right. Good, Good, Good job. job. Yes. Um, however, brought yarn to show you what I want to cast on <laughs> on March 1st, which is in a couple of days. And I almost started one because it's not knitting, it's crocheting. And I said I couldn't knit, but you crocheting is basically the same, same thing. thing. Yep. Yeah. So, whips? Whips? Whips I have. All right. So, of course, we have this one. Stratify. Stratify. And I am. I have split for sleeves. Yay! Yeah, so, it goes super goes fast, fast after that. And, yeah. So I'm on the first row, at, or first you know texture after that, which this is a fairly short thing, so yes. I should be done with it soon. Mm -hmm. And I really and I, like that texture. That, yeah, that, that, I do too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't really like nice. it on the first row, which I, I think was the either. pink, because I'm the like, pink. it looks like I didn't know where to knit. Yeah. <laughs> like I twisted uh, my stitches like it when does. I, I yeah. first knit. I'll never forget. Um, I wouldn't mind having a whole Nancy sweater. Nancy Sable, if you're watching, cool. you grab my needles and what your stitches are all backwards and you fix them. I'm like, oh, there's a front and a back of a stitch. I'll never forget that. She showed me that when we were at school. And so I felt like I was doing that, like, uh -huh. but they're all messed up. But then once you get the second, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it does. It, it's fun. I, I enjoy that one. Then I've been working on, and I had, I had hoped to have this done before That's I went right. to Galveston. It didn't work out that way, and I don't have a picture of it. All I have is the. But you've got a lot done on I it. I do have a lot done on it. I have. It's a fifty-row repeat. And you do all 50 rows four times, and then you do the first 13 rows the fifth time. And it's a stockinette, reverse stockinette, stockinette, reverse stockinette, different lengths on the um, sections. And it is in linen. It's a, oh, yeah. uh, So this Quest is going to wash Quincy Company up. Kestrel. This oh, 100% yeah. linen. Forgot about that. And I got this Quincy for you. Go. Yeah, from Lisa. Okay, from Lisa yeah. for you. Yeah. And it, it would have been perfect to wrap around me when I was in, in <laughs> yeah, you know, been. on the beach, mm -hmm. you know, with the wind because it was pretty windy and the wind had a bite to it. But that didn't happen, so it's all good. <laughs> but, I worked on it while I was down there. We could go to a different beach in the summer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. game. <laughs> all right. And then we'll the, better the other, <laughs> the other um, whip is almost an FO. It is Rocket Tea. Rocket Man! And all of the knitting is done. Yay. It's the finishing. I have to do mm -hmm. the I cord bind off on the bottom and the sleeves and the neckline. I didn't and do I the know, I I know I can do something different, but I've decided that that's a challenge for me. Okay. And a I new, want new to technique. a new technique and I want to do it. I know it's going to be time consuming, but I have a feeling that that those three stitches moving mm -hmm. will be almost rhythmic. It does. Uh -huh. And yeah. it'll just, you know, go on. Yeah, it's the getting it started. And I thought that if we have a few minutes after we're done, we can maybe work on. Was this the, 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 the Sistari yarn? Uh -huh. Yes. This is yeah. Sistari that really I got nice. from Kim. Cotton? At the Makery. It's, yeah, at the Makery. Mm -hmm. It's um, cotton. Seems like it's a mix. Oh, there's one. Uh, ta -ta -ta, cotton and linen, maybe? Like cotton and flax. Cotton and flax. Basically linen, yeah. 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 So, and it's soft. It is soft. <laughs> it is soft. <laughs> so, this is what kind of yarn? Oh, so this is from Sestari. <laughs> I got it at um, the Makery, which used to be in Mount Vernon. Um, it, it actually is softer than <laughs> you would think a flax and cotton yarn would be. Working with it, it is a little rough, but it it but softens it's, up. It's gonna soften. It yeah. softens up really quickly. Yeah. Even this, which hasn't been washed or anything, feels soft. Yeah. And how so, does this go as far as growth? So I don't know. When we we'll block find it. Out, won't we? Does does have does either one of you used it? Does it grow? You use cotton more than any of us. I don't. I mean, I I haven't noticed it growing, but I'm sure it must. Well, this this grew, but this was bamboo. Never mind. Yeah. Um, so it. I figured if it gets longer, that's not. I, I, it's I not really, a bad I thing. I don't really care. Yeah. 
you know, so. But yeah, all I have to do is do the ends. All know, right, the, yay! On that one, and Sweet. that one will be that one will be done. I'm not quite sure. I think I'll probably work on the um, striped sweater, whatever it's called, stratified, for a little bit longer. See if I can get that finished before I go back to this. But summer I want to have coming. this. I want to have this I for summer. Focus on this. So I, I think I'll probably do maybe a month on that, and if I'm not done with it, then drop back to this. I would go straight you to think that. Yeah, I, straight would, to I, this? Would, I would okay. want that ready because you know where. Oh, spring is coming. But I really wanted my New Year's cast on to be done before September this year. Haven't you ever heard of Christmas in July? <laughs> right. Just beginning Christmas. Yeah. There's a Jill, July 20th. Yeah, but you're so much closer to being done with this that you don't yes. have that instant satisfaction of yeah. it finally being done. You wear it <laughs> while you're working on it. Yeah. This. Right. There we yep. go. So yeah. So that's my that's plan right. is to work, work on this. Okay. And then finish stratified and then go back to my my shawl because that'll okay. be a good summer one too. So even though I don't have you're done with whips? I'm done with whips. Even though I don't have a whip, I have three future whips that you know, because I'm slowing down. But I, I well, that's just that's slow want to pick one. And when we were at school cool beans. <laughs> now that's we, where we had lunch. That's where when we were at Wild and Wooly, this sweater seemed to be everywhere. Oh, Modern yes. love. So yes. it's on all oh. of our radar. Wait, okay, I thought there's we nothing talked on about that. that for potentially being our next it, New Year's Eve. If that is, then I will hold off on it. But I, I went ahead and bought the yarn for that, which I'll, I'll talk about in um, acquisitions. And then the other one would be the very well-known Rhinoculus. I think it's in And I still focus. have that yeah. on my project. Yes. And then um, the other one I printed out the pattern for but didn't bring is actually a crocheted project called the Magnum Cardigan, which I will, I had printed out the pattern, but Magnus, I think is what it's called. And it's a crocheted sweater, which is yeah. crazy. Isn't is this Ranunculus the one that I bought that green yarn at from 614 Studio in Columbus? Wow. Or was that, was that a while for Love ago. Note? Oh, that was, That's love, that note. was love Note. Okay. Yeah. So Something here it is, so Magnus much. Cardigan. So this is what I'm wanting to do. And it's crocheted, so I went ahead and, I don't know if there's getting glare. It just, I love crochet, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't look crocheted. Ooh. It's kind of like an upscale granny square. Hmm. So, interesting. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. And for the rhinoculus, Ooh, I like that. This is I the like yarn I got um, at the thrift shop. And it's Brown Sheep Company, Mitchell, Nebraska, and it's a cotton wool. It's and a standard, so, yeah. yeah, I figured a white rhinoculus, if it works out, because it's worsted weight, which cracks me up though the rhinoculus pattern can be made from anywhere from a finger like the lace all the way up to worsted wow hmm. so not sure how that'll work so they have different um gauges gauges for yeah like it'll talk about like this one long sleeve fingering weight this is lace weight short this is light fingering with short sleeves but yeah all throughout it'll talk about um like what, which one you're doing. But yeah, yarn, okay. you can use lace to worst it. Okay. Which is nice if you have yeah. a sweater quantity of something, you don't know what that to do. Oh, it's it's okay. following me. Why can't it's I tight. stop yawning? I'm not tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's cozy here. There's good gravity at Allison's house. We'll take a nap. <laughs> yeah. Curl right up so there. those are my future whips. I just have to decide which okay. one. Whips. 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 Okay. So I only have one whip. Ooh, you're losing Ooh. the stitches. Yeah, it's okay. So my so, heart drops every time I pick up my knitting and the <laughs> thing is even near the edge. <laughs> so this is Fallen Cloud that I think I showed you so when I got the yarn, the wool. Um, and it is um, Blue Sky Fiber. Sweater worsted. And that is my only whip. So wow. now is that going to be, is that a shawl? It, oh, sorry, yes, it is a shawl. Okay. It looked like it was becoming a shawl, but it looked like it wanted to be a shawl when it grew up. But that, that will look cute, like in the winter, That'd like pretty. wrapped around, like poking out of a coat. Well, we'll see, because I don't normally wear shawls, but you know, this yeah. other- You're on a shawl kick. This sampler one kind of 
made me think, well, maybe I can wear shawls. Okay. Oh, Look how curved and fancy the edges. Yeah. yeah. What is that one called again? Fancy. Fallen Cloud. Fallen Cloud. That's right. I like that. It is by Lisa Haynes from Mahila Designs. Oh, pretty. And how do you spell her last name? Here's H A N N. Oh, yes. Haynes. I thought you said Haynes. H A. That was We're it. Next. That's it. She only had one. Oh, one win. Um, gosh, I feel on the spot. And I carried the show. Know what to do? Okay, I have. Well, the whip that I had is now this. Oh. <laughs> oh, actually, it? I had did have one of those too. <laughs> it's the lone skein shawl. <gasps> yeah. Mm. I, know he I tried making that too. Why did you okay, choose so, not to? Okay. So I was almost finished with it. I started oh. it on the way to Michigan. Okay. And when our vehicle broke down and we were sitting in the car dealership having it repaired, I was working on it. Only to discover I was almost done and I thought, oh wow, I'm gonna completely finish this too while we're driving to Michigan. Only to realize that my stitch count must have been off because the very nice little V's were not marrying and matching. So I had like half the V over here and then the other half would be way across and not meeting. And I just didn't have the the means or the wherewithal to fuss with it while in the truck. So it literally sat in a pile on the floor at home in my knitting space and I just didn't I didn't have I didn't want to pick it up. Didn't bring I, joy. It, it no, it didn't. Although I really liked the pattern. I really like how it turned out. So will I, you try it again? I think I'll try it again. I was thinking I would tink back and then I thought, oh, that's a lot of tinking. And so I thought, oh, I'll just frog it. And I'm like, and then I have to try to figure out the orientation of the stitch in the pattern. And I thought, I'll just rip it all out. And when my brain is let right. go, I'll yeah. just try again. Give yourself a little break from yeah. it. I'll just it's try sometimes on. tinking or frogging back to a certain place if you don't have the lifeline. Yeah, and I'm not a lifeline person because I'm like, oh, I should put a lifeline. An hour later, I'm like, oh, I should have put a lifeline. I'll do it now, and then I just don't. I will put in lifelines, but I tend to start tend to start daringly and don't put them in. And then the first time I mess up, I start putting in lifelines again. And then when you do put a lifeline in and you make progress, I like to see like, that. I have to move that lifeline. Right. And it's like, if I wait too long, it's too much. I'm not going to rip back that much. So I need to move my yes. lifeline. Yeah, I get lazy. Now you'll notice there was no lifeline in that shawl mm -hmm. that I was doing. So, but yeah. I was going to say the pattern. Mm -hmm. You yeah. could fudge it. I think I could, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the other whip I am working on is, is this the Ra Ra or Ray Ray? R-A-I-R-A-I. -A -I -R -A -I. Ra mm. Ray. Ray Ra. I don't know. Sis or Ray Ra. Ray Ray? It, it is a striped sweater. However, my intention is was for the design of the sweater, not necessarily the aesthetic, like the very nice the stripes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because and the I name. Oh, I liked it. What drew me to it was the stripes, right? But oh, I decided yeah. not to do the stripes because I just want. There are the words that we can't pronounce. A basic sweater. Okay. So the yarn is from she like the stripes. Heidi and Lana. And I got it on a special dye lot um, at Christmas time. It was called the colorway is Ugly Christmas Sweater. <laughs> so I did break for sleeves and it's my first full yoke sweater. So it is a yoke sweater. Uh, which I hadn't done before, so um, but this colorway is giving me very spring vibes. So the whole purpose was to like knit down to here and then put a pocket and the inside of the pocket I want this to be the hot pink from her her advent. She's an the one of the colorways in her Christmas advent perfectly matches the pink in here and so I thought, oh I want to do a pop of color in the inside of a pocket and maybe a stripe on a sleeve, right? And that was going to be my Christmas mm -hmm. 2024 sweater. But now that I'm knitting it, it's very spring vibe. But but it, if you wear it in the spring, it's spring so, vibe. If you wear it in the winter, yeah. It's and Christmas. so actually, you know, I was talking to Margaret on 
social. And I said, hey, it's a dual purpose. I can wear it in the spring because it is fingering weight. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So I can wear it in the spring as my spring sweater. And then be like, oh, it's really my Christmas sweater at Christmas time. So, so at Christmas time, wear a red Sophie scarf with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or I'll have enough of the mini maybe left over from the pockets that I could do something. So where, where's, the, where's the, the pockets? Is that a different sweater? No, a pocket's just something I'm going to invent. Oh, okay. okay. An after is it going to be like so a hidden pocket or like a it's well the pocket. the thought process is like I did a couple uh, looked at some tutorials, but I'm going to knit and then bind off and then cast on like backwards mm -hmm. loop cast on mm -hmm. and then just continue knitting. And then I'm gonna bring in the separate color and pick it up from the inside and knit a flap and then just or sew it and tack it, it down. Like a sock. My one cardigan, you knit it like a sock. But I want the, I don't want too much layer in fabric, so I just want little. Ah, oh, I see. And so one of the ones I looked at had like an I cord bind off on the edging of the outside of the pocket, which I don't think I wanna do because I want it to roll open so that you do get that little peak of the yeah. pink. In theory, that's what my plan is, whether that actually to pans be out. We'll see. So looking at this makes me want to make this sweater with the well, leftover La Biome. That's exactly why I, I purchased that pattern was because of those stripes and the colors. They're like yeah. my colors, right? But then I'm like, how many more striped sweaters can I have? I never have too many striped sweaters. You know, I need like less striping lots. around here, I think, but whatever. So that's my only other whip. The last whip I have is the Muscle Girl, which you guys have all seen. And I'm in the process of decreasing for the crown and finishing that one. So, okay, that's it. Right. So acquisitions? Acquisitions. And oh. are these all from uh, here and Wooly? there? Mine will be from here and there. like. This one is uh, going to be the Magnus cardigan. This is from um, Joanne. I want to see this. So I have that. I think I got that from Joanne. I'm sure you do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why? Are we all shocked that Darcy has this one? This color, yes. In and that color. yarn, that actual. Not actual yarn. Yeah. So this I don't remember sharing, um, and I did this last Please tell me this spring. Is not okay. No. So this little girl in my class had this shirt on, not this exact shirt. I feel like I don't know if Did I shared this before. I don't, I I don't this So they no. said they got it from um, Target. So they're narwhals knitting. So oh, this yeah. little girl was yeah. wearing yeah. it. And oh. So I ran to wait, Target. Wait. Target or whoever made this. Why is there not an adult, an adult version? version? Yep. <laughs> so I just I totally wear that. sewed it together, cut off the sleeves, and turned it into a little project bag. Oh, so gosh. I just had to have this little narwhal knitting bag. So Again, I think that's great. Yeah. Who, who's the designer of this? Uh, I think it's Cat and Jack. Please make an adult t-shirt yeah. version of that. <laughs> so I thought I just had to share that because that was, that was really cute. They're yeah. um, It's very Scottish. So the other acquisition I picked oh, up. Oh, I've been looking at these. The sock ruler. Oh, yes. Yes. Ooh, yes. What, Ooh, what is that weird texture? I know. It's rubberized. Show it on the it camera. It is um, from, oh Three, gosh. Sheared, twice sheared sheared twice sheared 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 That's where I saw it. I was yes. watching the crazy sock lady and she did the advent from them. And she uh, had a lot of fun toys. And it rolls. Yes. So it's like a uh, the slap, little roller. slap ruler. So, um, but if you know of a new knitter and you don't know what to get them for Christmas, get them the advent from Twice Sheared Sheep because all the tools, like cute little scissors, mm -hmm. adorable stitch markers, mm -hmm. little knit, I mean, everything a knitter needs would she come has, in that. She has gotten a lot of business from yes. me. So I picked that up. But um, I haven't done the advent. Yeah, I know. I, I would love to do the advent, but I don't need the advent. Yeah, right. So I live vicariously through um, watching somebody else open it. And when she opened that, because I tended to rush on socks and finish them before I really they like, were long enough. I really looked at is this and enough? I almost. Yeah, is this long enough? Yeah, let's wait, see your foot. Wait. <laughs> let's see your foot there, dear. <laughs> Yes, 
it's long enough. <laughs> Anywho, other acquisitions. This is from Wild and Wooly. I got this from Around the Table. Yes, you did. It took me a minute. Yes, yes, you did. So this was for Modern Love. So they they had some colors already chosen. Modern Love, the colorway um, sweater that we just looked we just at, looked right? at, and then um, they oh, used God. Scout as their base. So I picked up some Scout because this is more gray than the sample that we saw, which, which was, was from you. Yes, why I did. Not? Why, why not? Why not? Fibers. Which isn't the, yeah. the lady from Why Not the person who, who designed the yes. pattern? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Yeah. So I like. Liked the lighter weight or the, or the lady that works with Blinon. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. designer. Okay. And then um, new granddaughter. So and she's very much knit worthy. And so I got the mini pom pom. Super super cute patterns inside. And so pick that up. Might make a few things out of that. But not until March first. Not until March first. She'll be done by March second. No. And then she'll have to quit knitting again. Forever. <laughs> I think we should tell Dave that this is actually a his way of keeping <laughs> you in check. <laughs> yes. So, um, you yeah. Acquisitions? That's really cool. No, I actually, no oh. acquisitions. You didn't get anything allowed in Wooly? I got a pom pom for my cat. Oh, okay. yeah, that's right. But I think that was it. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. And he loves it, by the way. He <laughs> absolutely loves it. So, I didn't buy anything actually at Wild Wooly that I brought home. I did order some things with um, created for you by Laura. Mm -hmm. So I've got some of her crystal on its way. Um, my other acquisitions are, are a little odd. I bought a little coat rack. What? Yeah. I bought a coat rack. You'll have to take a picture and Darcy, you can add it. Yeah. It's super cute. So what I did okay. was I bought a coat rack one of the ones that you comes in four segments so I could take out a segment so that makes it only about this tall and it's got these you know things that you'd normally put a coat on but I'm putting my project bags on them oh so I don't have to like where where is it whereas her husband then asked well why would you need multiple projects so then we had to educate him on no there's social knitting there's car knitting there's don't talk to me knitting there's tv knitting there's oh i really want to do this someday knitting yeah there's so anyway i have this i i started out buying looking for a children's coat rack but ended up that it just means taking one of the units out so for 30 bucks from Amazon. It was a good deal. Sweet. And it displays your bag so nicely. Yes. So that's it for me for okay. acquisitions. Yeah. Wow. Well, grab your coffee. Oh, right. <laughs> so first acquisition I got <clears throat> Christmas time. Woohoo! <gasps> My advent. One of two advents I got. The other one's um, spread out all over the place and I couldn't find anything to make it hang all pretty but this one I got from Naughty Pine um, and it's all earth tone based minis and I love it when did they have a suggested it? pattern for it or um if they did I didn't pay any attention to it no oh, okay um, when you go hiking do you see like moss this. growing on a rock and yes. go oh I have yarn like that uh-huh <laughs> very much that so I actually have for this and for the other one, a project in mind. And it is that poncho that everybody's been knitting. And I can't remember the name of it. So the poncho? No. Is it the one that it's the striped one Christina. from Christina. Okay, I'll see yeah, Christina it. had. So I I think I want to do that because that was an advent related pattern. So I think I'm gonna make a poncho out of this to wear. Yeah, it's work. beautiful. Those are beautiful colors. But the colors are just so Sick and cool. So that's one Christmas. And then my husband for Christmas ordered from Ukraine. Good job, Ooh. Frank. This needle case, leather needle case. So I did put my needles in it. My my chow goose did not fit. Ooh. Oh, like the holes were too tight. Uh -huh that I couldn't, I could get them in there, but I had struggled to get them out. So I haven't quite figured out where to put everything yet. So if anybody has any solutions or suggestions on what should go where, but yeah. 
So it's got this little flappy pocket so pretty. that I put stuff in. Mm -hmm. And I put some needles in there. This thing comes out. I don't really know how to organize it yet. So if anybody has any ideas. It'll take time to perfect your um, means of organizing it. Oh yeah, this poncho. What's it called? Cory and Poncho, and it's C-O-O-R-E, I think. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm gonna do that with the Advent because that's what the minis, yeah, this pattern. And it looks great in stripes. Yeah. Ah. Um, Other than I hear like, she ended it a couple colors sooner so many because stitches. it was so big. Sort of like yours, it was, there's so many stitches on the needles. Sorry, Julia. <laughs> We're not rubbing it in. Yes, so, um, yes I am. <laughs> I got this bag from Around the Table Yarn. At Wilder Woolly. So uh, she's really saying neener, neener. Julia, I got this bag. <laughs> it's so super cute. Um, it is from Spinning Loft. And it's just a lot of bizarro cool stuff on it. So I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and then at Wild and Wooly, I also got from uh, Yarnbirds off the truck. Such a beautiful color. And I got from Why Not the screen. I think I'll make a muscle burl. And then from Lisa at for you. you. For you. Sorry. Some spin cycle and stone. Now, is that a kit for something? In particular? It's supposed to be a kit for the flowers hat. Okay. Whether that's what I actually make with it or not, I don't know. So that's it. It's all done. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Well, it was good being back and yes. sharing all the stuff that we've been working on. Um, when we turn the camera off, we're going to get our calendars out and see if we can plan some spring and summer trips to some of our local yarn shops um, and go from there, I guess. Yep. And so you can and follow the journey of the stripes. <laughs> <laughs> Until then. Happy knitting. Bye. Bye. I forgot to add the acquisition of the spinning wheel. Oh, I almost brought it. go back. Well, so I don't have to struggle. Right now, these bags are pretty much empty. Cool. And it has another extension. It does. It would go down here. Okay, but it would. It would. So lift it up. this is. Yeah.